Okay, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to just do a real quick video on getting some base textures to your object, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to just grab this dresser chest right here that we made previously, okay? And let's open up the material editor. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to architectural. And we're going to go into the diffuse channel and grab your, um, there's a wood procedural texture down here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show this procedural texture. We're going to drop that on there. Now, notice you get some stretching and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a UV map on there. Okay, and this UV map is going to be on channel one and we're going to do box, okay? Now, this is really, really nice the way it lined up here, so I think we're good. But the thing with procedural textures is what it renders like in the mesh here and what it is in the window is two different things. So you always want to really pay attention to your your procedural maps. So if we, let's, let's uh, lower this to two once, and we'll just render that out. See how if we go to one, you know, we get more of the rings, more of the, the stuff in there that we need. Okay, so, um, you know, maybe this is, you know, maybe you want a little radial noise, you want to play with the settings. But for now, maybe we'll go 0.5 and render it out. Okay, so this is our, our texture in here. And you can move your base texture, so say, you know, say you want to rotate your base texture around, um, we can actually go into the gizmo here and we'll angle this and flip it. Uh, what is that? 90 degrees. And then we'll just do a fit real quick so that it fits. And then say, you know, when you render it out, it'll change your, your base textures around or wherever you want. So this is pretty much, I mean, you can move everything how you want you can angle it uh, but it gives you the the base texture and apparently the procedural one isn't doing very good um, but so anyway we've got your your UV map on there now this procedural texture works with max or works with uh, seamless textures as well so what we're going to do is after we're done with this um, we're going to just go out of the map here and close that down. So then what you're going to do is after you're done with that, you've got your, your map texture on there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add on a UV or unwrap UVW. Okay. We are going to open this in the editor and really quickly, just for speed's sake, I'm going to grab all this and just flatten the mapping and say okay okay so that's going to place it all over the place and you know i'm not going to really worry about it right now but this gives you the base idea you want to actually unwrap your your texture before you do that in the way you want it in the way you're going to finalize it um, and then basically change this to map channel 2. now this window will pop up saying do you want to keep the you know keep the modifier say yes or move here now what you're going to do is you are going to go hit zero or render to texture and that'll pop up this window right here and you've got the dresser selected you do not want to enable projection mapping projection mapping is for getting normal maps and other things from there or putting high res to low res uh, polys but you do want to use existing channel all right all right and then for this we're going to do two and uh, we're going to scroll down here a little bit more. We're going to add in a diffuse map, and you can add in any map you want. So you can do a really uh, nice procedural map and then dump it in there and, and come up with something nice. Now, if I don't assign this, it's going to give me an error, which I don't care about at this point in time. Um, so then it's rendering. Um, I'm going to say continue. Uh, if you've written it, overwrite it. There, so basically, this is your, your map right now. Okay, so this map, though, is with all the lighting and all the information on there. You don't want that. What instead you want to do is you want to go to your 3D, your documents, 3D Max, Scene Assets, and Images. And it's going to pop up this texture here. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to 
I'm going to close this down, close this, close this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to say, um, we're going to just say yes and we're going to dump this modifier right here, okay, because we don't need it anymore. Then when we go back up here and we go into the maps, we're going to go here. Um, we're going to just create a new diffuse with a bump or bitmap and uh, dresser and we can show and then just attach that. Now, well, this is going to look odd when you first do this. So if you do, you go down to map channel one and say basically move and there is your base texture and map with everything on there. Now again, you know, this is this is great for just really simple stuff. Now I shouldn't probably have used a procedural. Um, I should have probably found some, some a seamless wood texture, which would have been fine and done what I needed to do. Um, but this at least gives you shows you the element of how everything works and you know in the end you have this nice textured um, your base model um, for your textures. From there, you can always put in extra stuff, you know, whether you want to put in painting and wrapping, you know, nick scratches, you know, little kids scribbling on it with the side of a crayon. That's up to you, you know, but this is a real simple way to get a base texture going on. Um, another thing that you can do, and that's, that's, I've always found was really nice, um, is you can render multiple ones so say you have a you want a base texture um map um say say we're doing something metal um that's kind of beat up so you'd want to do the original render map for um your for your metal and then say you want to paint over it so you do a paint layer one you know so create a paint um texture and apply it and then you want to create say a um, you know maybe a scratch map or something like that and so you can overlay those in Photoshop and then take out and erase or you know mask what you don't want or do want but this is a, a really simple way to get your base textures going all right thanks much